So I was fishing this creek in another video and I came across this creek that flows into it. Very steep, very high gradient little creek here. And I'm curious, I'm wondering, are there fish in here? Or is it too steep? It looks like there are some pools that are big enough for fish. Let's find out. I'm going to be fishing a new rod today. This rod, the Tanuki Golden Trout. This can be fished at two lengths. The shortest is six feet, six inches. And the longest is seven feet, 10 inches. Very light rod. Interesting color. Uh, this one came with like some, I don't know, some like glue on the handle. Can you see those dark spots? Seems like a little quality control issue. It was like that when I got it, but not a big deal. It doesn't affect how it fishes. I've never fished it before. Let's see if it'll work in this little creek here. All right, I have a five foot line on here. I have a black and gold Kabari, and I'm fishing the rod at its shortest length, six and a half feet. This rod feels so delicate. Oh, fish on! No way! No way! That is a surprisingly large fish to come out of here. I'm in shock. I didn't think there'd be any fish in here. But the Tanuki Golden Trout got it done. That's amazing. It's a, it's a cutthroat, it's a Bonneville cutthroat trout. Nice spots. Pretty fish. Wow. All right guys, let's keep going. Let's catch some more. As long as I can keep finding pools like that, I'm pretty sure I can keep catching fish. Stuff like this though, it'll be tricky. This rod, I mean, I can barely even feel it in my hand. It is so, so light. Ooh, this looks pretty good. Let's uh, extend the rod here. Do a bow and arrow cast. See what we can get. Whoa, fish on. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm stuck in the tree. Get away from me, a tree, okay. Sorry, fish. Whew. Another surprisingly decent fish. Oh, I'm amazed, guys. I'm amazed that there are pools this good in this creek. And a rod like this is just perfect for this kind of fishing. We've got another nice looking spot right here. Yeah, this, this is probably the steepest creek I've ever fished. like one constant waterfall. Fish on. Got him. It's another cut. No, that's a brook trout. Weird. Little brookie. Fish on. Another brook trout. This is so fun. What a fun way to fish. Tiny pools with a tiny rod. 
I was gonna say for tiny fish, but I mean, that's a, these are pretty good fish for a creek like this. They're not like three inchers, you know? Got yet another nice pool here. Let me get the net ready. Nothing on cast one. Nothing on cast two. Oh, but on cast three. Oh, that was the biggest one yet. I'm amazed. I am truly shocked. Fish on. Oh, got off. I was a little bit slow in setting the hook on that one. This type of fishing is also fun because it's such close quarters. You know, like I'm so close to these fish. There's an intimacy there that you don't get with a longer rod and a longer line on a bigger stream. This is very interesting fishing. Fish on. It's a brook trout. I see the green and orange. Yeah, this is surprisingly good fishing. Every pretty good looking spot has a fish. Not every, almost every spot that looks pretty good has a fish. That's, again, I'm just in shock. Got another awesome spot right here. Look at this. It's a large open pool on this tiny little creek. Got one. What do we have? Looks like a brook trout. See ya, buddy. I hate these wading boots. These are the Reddington benchmarks. They are so slippery. And it's like, oh, that was a good fish. Uh, yeah, anyway, these boots are just not good on wet rock. And it's like, come on, you have one job. Your job is to be good on wet rock. I feel like they're dangerous because my footing is so insecure. Do you guys have these boots? Have you had those experiences? Man, not a fan. Okay, I tied a new fly on here. It's yellow with a light gray hackle and black thread head. This yarn, the color of this yarn is mimosa. And of course you can pick some up at flytyingyarn.com if you're interested. Whoa! Oh! That was... Uh, not graceful. I was standing on this pile of small logs and it shifted under my weight and I fell backwards. Oh. Push on and off. Does this rod cast well both regular casting like this? And then also bow and arrow casting. Just a sweet little rod. Yep, 
Got him. I saw that one. I saw a dark shape moving through the water. And sure enough, it was this little brook trout. See ya, buddy. Oh. There's gotta be a fish over here. This is a really nice looking spot. We've even got some foam. There it is. That's the nicest one yet. Wow. That is a gorgeous brook trout. Holy cow. Look at that chunky guy. That belly, those colors. About an eight inch fish. See ya, buddy. Great fish. Look how steep all of this is. It's just cascading down through the rocks here. Fish on. It's another brook trout. Wow, look at this. That is gorgeous. Wow. Yep, fish on. Oh, and off. Fish on again. We got him. It's a lively brook trout. The fish are having no issues with that yellow kabari. Not one bit. What a cool place to fish. Fish on. Oh, and off. Fish on. Oh, that was a good fish. Fish on. And off. Well, I wasn't recording, but I just caught a fish right here. Unbelievable location. Fish on. Got him. Right in the foam. Right in the foam, right there. Another brook trout. See you, buddy. Fish on. Got him. I think this will be the last one. This is fish number 13 out of this creek, believe it or not. Well guys, what an awesome little creek here. And what an awesome little rod. This thing is sweet. Is it worth the 200 and whatever dollars that it costs? I don't know, I'll leave that up to you. It feels like a Japanese rod. It just feels so effortless to cast and it's so light. I love it, great little rod. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed seeing this crazy little creek. I was expecting to catch like one or two fish, but there were a ton of fish in here. I'll definitely have to come back to this one in the future. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know what your favorite part was. And I'll see you in the next one. Be sure to subscribe to the channel here if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out my flytyingyarn.com store if you're looking for yarn for your fly tying needs. And then finally, I have another YouTube channel called SUV RVing that covers all of my non-fishing adventures. If you want to check that out, links to all of those things and more will be in the video description.